Okay. So hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Karim Shalabi. I am a PhD student at the University of Bonn uh, in a specialty pharmaceutics and uh, pharmaceutical technology. Uh, and I'm, I'm gladly here to explain uh, what I have done in ORKG in uh, this specialty of pharmaceutics. So let's start by explaining what pharmaceutics do or what pharmaceutics study. So actually, in, in the field of pharmacology of, or the, uh, the medical sciences, we use drugs to deliver, uh, to treat some disease. And in our specialty, which is pharmaceutics, we use delivery system to enhance the delivery of this drug into the site of the disease while protecting other body parts from this drug to avoid uh, the side effect developed from this drug. So uh, the core purpose of our uh, speciality is to enhance these delivery systems and uh, to make them uh, more specific or more selective to target the drug to the disease site. So we have so many diseases uh, and for each disease we have specific type of drugs. So for example, for cancer, we use cytotoxic drugs and for inflammation we use anti-inflammatory drugs and for infection we use antibiotic or antiviral and in our specialty we uh, in cancer for example we need to deliver the anti-cytotoxic drug which kills normal and the cancer cells so it will be very good to uh, enhance the delivery of the drug into only cancer cell not to the normal cell the same case scenario in inflammation and in infection uh, actually, we have so many delivery systems, which uh, is nanoparticles and microparticles and the conventional delivery uh, systems we use today, like tablets, capsules, and so on. Uh, and the, the new delivery systems uh, usually based on the nanoparticles, which is composed of polymeric nanoparticles or lipid-based nanoparticles or inorganic nanoparticles, which depend mainly on the material from which the nanoparticle is made. Uh, in case of polymeric nanoparticle, it's composed of polymer, lipid-based, it's composed of some lipids, inorganic, which is composed of metals like iron or gold or platinum. Now to present my best, uh, best comparison, I uh, decided to use one of the polymeric nanoparticles, which is the PLJ nanoparticles, which is a polymer, uh, polylactide co-glycolic acid, uh, and it's a biodegradable polymer, and it is used to enhance the drug delivery across the blood-brain barrier to deliver like psychotic drugs or also anti-cancer drugs for uh, some brain cancers. So talking about the presentation, uh, sorry about the comparison, uh, I have uh, compared uh, like 10 uh, papers uh, and talking about this, all of them used the uh, polylactide co-glycolic acid polymer, as I said. Uh, and all of them have the research problem of PLGA-based nanoparticle to drug delivery to the brain. But the difference between them is that they use different drugs like venlafaxine, curcumin, insulin, and other things. Here, the type of nanoparticle is typically the polymeric nanoparticle, which is PLG nanoparticle, but I used this to cover the properties of the nanoparticle. So for this resource, I added a hidden resource inside it, like particle size of the nanoparticle, and I applied here a template uh, to produce the number and the value. So this actually has a value and has unit. So we can uh, make it like this, and we use this class so we can convert the units from each other. Also the same uh, for zeta potential, which is uh, the charge on the surface of the nanoparticle, which uh, is very important for the stability of the formulation. Uh, because if there is no zeta potential on the surface, many of these particles will agglomerate and reduce the concept of using nanoparticles. So I also used a resource here for zeta potential and used a template for it to produce a number and the unit for it. The difference between all these studies, which may use the same drug, is the surface decoration of the nanoparticle, which is a targeting moiety for sending this nanoparticle to a specific cell in the brain or to pass uh, a receptor on the blood-brain barrier. So uh, the endoth uh, endothelial cells of the blood-brain barrier contain receptor for transferrin and some specific peptides like here. And we use this uh, to target the nanoparticle. So the nanoparticle travels through the blood and then bind to this receptor and enter to the brain. 
Also, uh, different studies have used different method of preparation. If the drug is water soluble, we use double emulsion method. If it is not water soluble, we use single emulsion method or nano precipitation method. And the interesting part is if this decoration has enhanced the delivery or not. And actually, we are expecting to enhance it, but some studies have shown that it's lower. Uh, enhancing it, but most of them produced higher enhancing to the drug to pass the, the, the blood brain barrier. For this study also, uh, or for this comparison, I have made a, uh, a visualization of uh, the zeta potential and the nanopart uh, the particle size of the nanoparticle I used here. And I named uh, every nanoparticle with its surface uh, moiety covering it and all containing PLGA and this determine uh, shows that the particle size was nearly equal and the zeta potential also was also uh, mostly positive which enhanced their delivery through the blood brain barrier uh, the good thing i used for rkg is uh, during locking and the, this comparison uh, one can understand everything about the topic that there is different receptors and they can also determine which receptors can be used so uh, can use it for further studies to enhance the delivery across the blood brain barrier and also uh, that everything is human readable and machine readable at the same time. So uh, if we open one of the paper and they make the graph view of it we can see this that everything is connected to each other. Everything is connected to each other and also the zeta potential and the particle size is connected to the nanoparticle itself as a property of it. Uh, the last thing for me for uh, setting up the comparison, it uh, the best thing for me was uh, to use the contribution editor here in uh, in this. Sorry. Yeah, is to use a contribution editor. So I usually I start by adding one paper and then I add all the properties needed for this comparison and then I start in uh, building up the other paper to start the comparison on it and then I save it and publish it. So that's all from my side and I hope uh, you uh, thank you for attention for this presentation. Thanks a lot, Karim. So um, really liked the well how well you structured the presentation. I liked the use of templates uh, that you also considered how uh, the graph that you built looked like. So that that makes sense. That's always a good first check whether your modeling was a good modeling that is also machine actionable. Mm -hmm. And also uh, mentioning the tools that you use. So I have no questions. Uh, anybody else having questions? That's not the case, then thanks again. Thank you.